Uh, the Cincinnati Police Department says that they are short staffed right now, nearly 70 officers. That's the word at least from the police chief, Elliot Isaac, at today's Budget and Finance Committee. Reporter Mariel Carbone is looking into why there is such a gap. Well, the main problem here is that the city is not hiring as many officers as the number of officers retiring. And really to make any headway here, the number of new hires needs to be much greater than the number of retirees. 990 police officers are out on the streets in Cincinnati, a number that is falling short. With a complement of 1,059, we're about 69, 70 officers short. And the gap could get worse. The department estimates 52 officers will retire by March of 2022, but many more are eligible to leave. Of that 990 that are current, 183 of those officers have 25 years of service or more and are at least 48 years of age, meaning that they could retire at any moment. A new recruit class of 50 officers will graduate in March, which is not enough to fill the number retiring, let alone the existing gap of 69 officers. Uh, to deal with the issue, Isaac says the time. department is relying heavily on overtime. It's only a short-term solution to the problem. Sometimes they're working some overtime, and then other times there's cases where there's not enough officers on the street, and they are not finding the people to work the overtime. Dan Hills, FOP president, says this can lead to safety issues for officers as well as the public. And although he says... Well, I think we still are providing the basic service well. He also says... It could be done better if we were manned more properly. Hills believes officers are retiring younger and earlier due to the stress of the recent political climate. We're in a time and a place when there's going to have to be a priority on hiring and training police officers. And in the upcoming budget discussion, CPD is asking the city to fund more recruit classes. Right now, a federal grant is paying for the next upcoming two classes. Reporting from D1 headquarters, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.